Hey guys, it's me, That Weasel, drinking some Jim Bean, the last of my Jim Bean peach whiskey into a, in a shot glass that is, fuck, it's shaped like a skull. Anyway, the Georgia Guidestones. For those of you who don't know, the Georgia Guidestones were a weird thing in the middle of Georgia. I visited them last year. Oddly enough, uh, exactly three days ago, uh, last year, almost to the day, uh, that they were destroyed. Um, about three days ago, some dude came around and put a bomb by one of the parts of the Georgia Guidestone, uh, and, and blew it up. And the damage to the thing was so bad that, uh, they just decided to tear it down. They probably won't rebuild it. I mean, why would you? It's a big, expensive piece of granite. So yeah, that's why I'm drinking peach whiskey out of a skull glass. The peach whiskey symbolizes Georgia, and the skull glass symbolizes all the weird conspiracies that cropped up around this pile of rocks. Hmm. That shit was actually good. That's one of the few whiskeys that I actually like that's not a whiskey sour. I love whiskey sour. Anyway, so a lot of weirdo conspiracy assholes were all like, Yay, they blew up the thing. Terrorism. Hooray. And then a bunch of other people, when people were like, Hey, don't go around blowing shit up. And they were like, Well, you, you done tore down all the Confederate monument. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Georgia Guidestone wasn't put up by the Daughters of the Confederacy in a minority neighborhood to remind them constantly about why they were enslaved. It was set up by some weirdo, probably some weirdo eugenicist, so... Yeah, okay, a little, a little bit. But it was set up by some weirdo during the Cold War. It had a list of guides in the event that the world was destroyed by a nuclear Armageddon. It also had all kinds of tools in it. Like you could, you, you had it had like slits in the rock and you could look and it would tell you when, when the winter solstice was happening and you could look at the North Star through it and other crap. It was, it was like a little, it was like a Swiss army knife of survival but it was made of granite and was huge. Though not as big as you might think. I remember when I went to it, I was, I was kind of like underwhelmed with its size. Anyway, this guy's happy it blew up. Greetings, my friends. I saw this one was breaking news and it picked my interest. You know, it picks my interest. How it is that I spent like 40 minutes setting up the camera and the light and everything. And yet this guy with 79,000 subscribers gets to use his webcam that's not even looking at him, not light the room, and talk through a microphone that sounds like a literal potato. About seven and a half to eight, to eight billion people would have to die. Like literally a microphone made of a potato. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about it a little bit. The Georgia Guidestones of a bomb went off. The Georgia Guidestones of a bomb went off. Are you not, did your mind, is it like, is it a potato? A bomb went off where they were standing at. As opposed to the bomb going off where they weren't. And it knocked up, knocked out an entire area of the Guidestones. Many people say that the Georgia Guidestones are evil, that they're the New World Order plan to ruin the planet. Yeah, and, and, and that's why they're out in full view of the public and written in multiple languages. It was the New World's Order top secret plan to kill the planet, which is why it specifically says, leave room for nature. They want to kill the planet! And here's what the Guidestones say. This is the Georgia Guidestones Ten Commandments. Number one, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Yeah, that probably wasn't going to happen. That would mean that uh, about 7.5 to, to 8 billion people would have to die to uh, make that work. The Guidestones were built under the assumption that they would be used after an atomic fucking war. They were not a guide on how to serve man. It was meant to help the survivors of a nuclear holocaust. Now granted, the Earth as it stands can probably support way more than what we've got going on on it, assuming that we were using resources correctly. But an Earth ravaged by a total nuclear apocalypse, you know, probably can't take more than a couple billion folks. So yeah, maybe having only 500 million for a little bit it's not a bad idea when everything's radioactive. Number two, 
Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. See that? Yeah, that that that's that's that eugenic shit. That that's the shit that's a little bit, you know. Uh, uh, eh. Number three, unite humanity with a living new language. Yeah, and given the time frame that the thing went up, it was probably talking about Esperanto. So. Cato. 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 Number four, rule passion. Faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Oh, those wily New World Order folks talking about tempered reason and respecting culture and customs. That's, that's just, that's, that's just what they would say, isn't it? Number five, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Oh, those dastardly Illuminati. Ooh. Ooh, protect people with fair courts. Oh, like, ah, Only shit, did I accidentally improve the design of the tin can? Number six, let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. There's the, the, the one thing that the New World Order people talk about, the world court. Ignoring the fact that that commandment clearly says external conflicts. In the context of what the Guidestones were, they're basically saying, hey, you guys almost wiped out your whole species through fucking war. So maybe don't do that. Number seven, avoid petty laws and useless officials. Ah, God, that's a fucking Illuminati. Ah, ah, ah. Telling us to avoid useless officials and petty laws. Ah, oh, that they're evil, you see. The, the, ooh, whoa! <laughs> Number eight, balance personal rights with social duties. Gah! Number nine, prioritize truth, beauty, and love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Which is Hollywood Illuminati tech conspiracy language for evil, uh, anti anti-goodness and number 10 be not a cancer on the earth leave room for nature and reiterate leave room for nature and that's why we had to get rid of those fucking things and uh they're looking around trying to find out who did it look at the thumbnail that's the picture of it uh they blew a column of that in the rubble somebody's not happy with the georgia guidestones no fucking way someone's not happy with the thing they blew up i thought that was what you did with stuff that you loved no wonder my insurance is so high and uh they blew it up so whoever it was fbi is trying to find them and the fbi will find them because we got video of their fucking car but there are a lot of people don't like these guidestones yeah well you know a lot of people think the earth is flat too and i'm not surprised to hear this happened but this, this, this spit it out spit it out there are so many things that are put right in your face that i believe that are end times things that are trying to describe how the how the the, the end times you can say it come on the powers that be the 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 the, the, the cabals that, that actually i believe run the earth want things to work out a certain way and, and they just they put it right in front of your face that's how they keep it so safe and secure by putting it directly in front of you on several giant stone tablets in multiple languages that's what makes them so secretive they're always one step ahead of you with 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 all the telling you exactly what they're gonna do in giant letters they're even trying to hide like like all the frescoes the big paintings you see at at, at all these huge conglomerations that show all these end time horrific things at the denver airport yeah, they had, they had some uh, fucking... That's what happens when you give money to a goddamn artist. And you say, oh, just whatever. That's what they do. Sorry. All the horrific paintings. They had to cover a couple of them up. They were just too wild. But all the horrific end time stuff. I've done so many videos on this in the past. Yeah, and they're all framed exactly this way. I gotta believe this guy's success comes from the fact that he puts out a video roughly every 8.7 seconds. And it's amazing. The New World Order just puts things right in your face for you to see. It doesn't even try to hide them. Though. Yes, and only the craftiest of crafty crafters are able to see those New World Order things and go, Ah, I can read! We're living in precarious times. Very interesting times. We're always living in interesting times. Every times that you live in is the most interesting times. That's how history works, you know? Causes happen and then events happen. If you were living in the year 1998, you would be saying, I am living in the most interesting, most amazing time. If you were living 
in 1923, you would be saying, wow, what amazing times I fucking live in. That's just how it works. Very interesting times. And we're living in the final days, the final moments of the final days, in fact. Ah, yes, those final days that we've been waiting on for 2,000 years. And all the signs are here. Well, they're not here specifically. I've not decorated my room with road signs yet, but give me... Give me some time. I do a lot of driving. Eventually, I'll find one of those suckers on the ground. I'm going to have a big stop sign, like right here. As soon as I get a stop sign, this shit's gone, and I'm just going to put it right there. It's just going to say, stop. Don't watch this. And the Georgia Guidestones, I've been hearing about them since I've been online about 15 years ago. You've been doing this for 15 years, and no one's ever told you to tilt the camera down. Damn. Well, on social media... And uh, it's a big thing. They've always stood there, but again, someone decided to uh, set up a bomb there and blow them up. Yeah, because some asshole prospective mayor or governor or whatever made it a fucking campaign initiative to get rid of the fucking things. And because we live in such politically polarized times, potentially even the most interesting times, someone decided that they wanted to own the libs by blowing up a tourist trap. I gotta tell you, when I went to go visit the Guidestones, I looked for something else. Anything else there. I wanted to go to a fucking Waffle House. There wasn't even a Waffle House in the area. There is fuck all there. And, you know, for good reason. Because if you're trying to build something to survive a thermonuclear conflict, you probably don't want it to be near anything. The only reason I was there was to see that tourist trap. And because I was there, I spent money at local businesses. And I pumped my gas at a local gas station. And I did all kinds of things in the middle of this fucking nowhere location with nothing else happening. And now the Guidestones are gone. I'm never gonna go back there. I have no reason to. No one has a reason to. And, uh, yeah. Way to cost everyone over there some fucking money, you dipshit. So, uh, interesting times we live in. And all the things we see in front of us that are just pointing towards the rapture being imminent any second of any day and the tribulation being right after that. You know, you... Hold on, I want to check something with this guy's channel real quick. I just want to see, because this is one of those end times prophecy channels. And I just want to, because you know these people have been saying this shit since the moment this motherfucker's channel went up. I bet he's been saying the same shit. And his very first video was 10 goddamn years ago. And holy shit, I was only joking when I said he never tilted the camera down. Wow. Wow, you you don't know how to, how to frame an image. And that's going to be a time... You think things are bad right now in this world with the inflation? And well, you mean that inflation that comes from you guys giving tax breaks and initiatives to corporations and Wall Street bankers that continually fuck us? You mean that inflation? With famine coming? What, you mean that famine that's coming from fucking climate change? You know that thing we've been warning you about for the last 60 years and you continue to ignore us? And then the climate keeps getting fucked? You mean that shit that you keep ignoring and saying is fake? You mean all that shit that's happening? Yeah, I know. I've been watching it. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. People can't afford anything, can't afford gas, can't afford a car, can't afford a home. I wonder fucking why. Wonder why we can't do any of that shit. Well, it's definitely the New World Order and the liberals and the, and the woke people. It's definitely them. It's got to be them. Yeah, no other fucking reason. It's going to be a million times worse than that in the tribulation. According to the Bible, it's going to be the worst time in the history of the world. No town will be like it ever again. Ironically, during that time, something like the Georgia Guidestones would be somewhat useful. Too bad you guys blew it up. Most of the world will die grotesque, awful, horrific deaths, just unimaginable, painful, suffering, depression, anxiety. Heartburn. Heartbreak. Sinus infection. Heartache. Vertigo. Homelessness. Erectile dysfunction. Joblessness, suffering, hunger, thirst. Don't be part of that. Does this have to do with the guy blowing up the guide stones? You should talk about that in the video that's literally about the guide stones getting blown up. 
You don't have to be. Find Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior now. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer, do the six steps, I have in a box, go to video, and no one's guaranteed more time in life. You know, I, I even if I wanted to do all that stuff, I literally cannot understand what you're saying because you're talking like you're reading a script. You're talking like this is just something you've said so many times. You're like, oh, Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, answer prayer, pray, whatever. Anyway, buy my merch. If you like prayer, contact me at Pray for You Every Day. I love you all with all of my heart, and look up true Christians are different Darth and Ivy Fly Sumay. God bless you. What the fuck did you just say? And look up true Christians are different Darth and Ivy Fly Sumay. What? And look up true Christians are different Darth and Ivy Fly Sumay. Are different Darth and I Fly Sumay? And look up true Christians are different Darth and Ivy Fly Sumay. I got nothing. I think he's talking about fly soup drawing near to you so if a big bowl of mashed up flies is heading straight for your face uh to pray to jesus share this video help me get the word out i can't wait to meet you all in heaven and those of us that make it give you all a big hug and everyone that doesn't make it will burn forever in eternity for whatever reason they didn't make it whether that reason be that they murdered a bunch of people or that they didn't believe in the one particular version of Christianity that you think is correct. They deserve to burn forever in eternal torture. Love! Anyway, this is That Weasel. If you like that video, uh, damn, it's probably a real short one. Like and subscribe and check out the other videos I've done. And if you want to support this channel, you can go to my Patreon, like these people. Look at them go. Everybody on this list is a person on the patrons. Anyway, the next video will probably be a non-political one because these are getting a little boring, so maybe I'll find a gamer or whatever. And as always, have a good day.